Hi friends, my name is Stephanie. I go by Stamp JG here on YouTube and on social media. I am recording my very first YouTube video and I thought fittingly it should be a haul. I just recently ordered for the first time from Gina K Designs and they've got some really great stuff and I have always wanted to try the ink and the card stock. Um, I did not get envelopes but they've got matching envelopes and I like matchy matchy so I thought let's try it out. So I'm th going to film this so you can see up close and personal what um, Gina K offers if you've never ordered from them before. So first of all, I ordered ink. I ordered two sets of ink cubes because everybody knows they're more <laughs> economical and you can try lots of colors. Um, and I re kept myself to two sets, which is still a bunch, but there are eight cubes, one inch cubes in each collection, and they are dye ink. I've got the 2018 add-on collection and the autumn ink cube collection. To go with it, I ordered cardstock. And GDK Designs cardstock is 100 pound, so it's very heavy. It's um, each package contains 24 sheets, and it has three each of eight different colors, and those coordinate with the colors of the ink. I'm going to open those up in just a minute and show you them together and stamp, and we can see how they coordinate. What really got me interested um, in ordering from Gina K is their wreath builder program um, or designs or whatever. It, it's just so cool. I love the concept. So the set that I got is the Autumn Wreath Builder set. And this has a great focal point here that it looks like the sentiments should fit into. And there's thankful, grateful, blessed. Thanks so very much. Eat, drink, and be thankful. I like that one. Thanksgiving blessings and so grateful for you, along with some fall designs. But at the same point, I really think a lot of these, you know, maybe not the pumpkin and the acorn or whatever, but a lot of these designs look like they can be used year round. So I'm very excited to be able to work with this. And this again is a six by eight inch. It's a substantial size stamp set. To go with it, the stencils. These are what make it all work and you get um, two stencils in a package and they are three and three quarters and four inches and as a splurge I ordered the cardstock the pre-cut cardstock to go with it and this you get 12 pieces of three and three quarters cardstock and 12 pieces of four inch cardstock yes you can cut it yourself and I will once I run out of these, but I thought this would get me up and going quickly. And these are 120 pound base weight, very heavy cardstock, and they're in white. As a thank you gift, I received these stapled to my packing slip. So this is great little, uh, these are just great. These are a whimsical flower and butterfly set. I like the butterfly trail here. And of course a, a, um, sentiment set here with hello friend grateful for you and birthday wishes with really wonderful hearts so if you want to stay tuned i'm going to open up the packages and do some stamping so we can compare the ink on the cardstock so i've done a little bit of prep work off of camera and i've cut some business card size um out of white oops sorry the camera's shaking out of white nina cardstock so and these again, as I said, are business card size. I just thought it would hold more information. I've gone and punched out with a one inch punch. I've punched out one little piece of cardstock of each color. I've put it through my little Xyron X to put adhesive on the back of them. And then you rub it really, really, really well. It tells you rub and peel. Um, Xyron X is really good for um, small pieces of cardstock. Solid, non-intricate. Sometimes it does leave a little sticky behind, but I'll deal with that. Let's show I have my pretty little one inch pieces of cardstock. And I'll just go ahead and stick these. Ah. 
once it's down, it's down. <laughs> Note to self, once it goes down and it's crooked, it's going to stay like that. It really does stick very immediately. Xyron tape burner sticks immediately. So, on my little reference cards here now, I have one, one little inch piece of cardstock. And then I've taken from the older stamp set one of the solid, more solid images of a little leaf. And I'm going to use this to stamp. Cubes. Ink up the stamp. Yeah, but we're just going to go with it. What I need to do is condition the stamp. Oh, that's much better. As you can see, we are back with the autumn assortment, and I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I have my ink cubes, my business card size pieces of Nina White cardstock that I've printed, and one inch squares of cardstock that I've put through my little Xyron sticker maker. And you rub this really well, peel it off, and go.